Hello everyone, it's a great pleasure to be with you tonight from the Granite City here in the northeast of Scotland, Aberdeen. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position and I'm joined for expert analysis by my partner Stuart Robson. And what we have coming up for you is action from the Cinch Premiership. It is Aberdeen up against Celtic. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. This is how it looks for the home side. Well, in this shape, unless their wing-backs play further forward, there won't be any width in their attacks, which then puts a lot of pressure on the strikers to provide the goal threat. And here's the starting 11 for Celtic. Well, it's a 4-3-3 formation with a centre-forward and two wingers. So it's important that the midfield players give support to the striker whenever the ball goes wide. They can't allow him to be isolated. So the battle commences. Kyogo Furuhashi. Now let's see what they can do here. Good pressure high up the pitch. Well, not making life difficult for the keeper at all. A wide attempt. Well, based on their record away from home, they are the envy of many Stuarts. They know how to do it. What have you made of their performances? Well, seven wins from eight shows what a good team they are on the counter-attack. Their pace to get forward from defensive positions is absolutely brilliant. And they read it well defensively. Great effort to keep that one in play. They need to get tighter. Will he play it in? A very timely interception. Jota. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. In it goes! The goal for 1-0, and that changes the dynamic. Well, just look at his strength here. He holds off the challenge, he keeps his balance, and he finds the back of the net. It's a wonderful goal. Now back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Coulson. Good tackle, it'll be a throw. Clarkson. 
How about the cross? And he'd be disappointed if he didn't take that one cleanly. He continues his run. And let's give credit to the defending. Jaden Richardson. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. He's in here. Flag up, tight offside. Taylor promising attack this Moy and Celtic get the throw in Now, when you take the throw in, you're not then supposed to get caught offside. Well, that's ridiculous. That should never happen. An inability to keep hold of the ball there. Taylor another successful intervention winning the ball back well inching towards half time and probably fair to say the fans were hoping for a little bit better than this Stuart your thoughts well I've been a little disappointed with their attacking play it's all been a bit too slow if they can pass it into their front areas with more quality, switch play quicker and be more positive in 1v1 situations, I think they'll get back into this. In position. And a goal to really bolster things for them. Two in front. Well, here's the replay. He does well to find that bit of space in the box and then he shows a lot of composure to finish it off. That's a good goal. So underway once more, 2-0 the lead here. So half-time here, and the visitors in front. We spoke earlier, Stuart, about their tremendous away record. Well, that was outstanding, wasn't it? From the very first minute, they've just controlled the tempo and the flow of the game. And that's what they've done in most away games so far this season. It's been a brilliant first 45. And the match is... Away they go again. Second half is underway here. Well, he successfully got past him. And keeping it out. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Well, could this be the turning point? Well, fans are certainly hoping so. Well, they fancy a short one. Ross McCrory. 
fluency of movement. Well, danger here as he runs at them. He's using his strength to good effect. Hayes. A real opening now. Not to be. And still chasing this game. Well, that was the chance to get back into this. As it is, they're going to struggle now. And it is substitution time at this juncture. Not just from one side, but from both. Jota. They were playing fluent football, but then the foul, and now you would anticipate a yellow card. Well, he's had his name taken by the referee. Well, he knew he was going to get booked. It's a poor tackle, really. And a substitution in the offing. Well, they must exercise caution standing off as they are. And they could face difficulties here. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. And in the end, no damage done. The cross is on. Could pull one back here. And he does! Team a lifeline, the belief is back. Well, this is a very tidy finish, as you can see. He's under so much pressure, but his strength just allows him to hit through the ball cleanly. It's an excellent goal. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the scoreline. Well, very effective play in possession. Now they couldn't take advantage of the position they were in. Clarkson. In the right place to cut out the pass. How about the cross? Oh, great defending. And this might not be the ideal situation for them. This is looking threatening. Juranovic. the goalkeeper and the substitution will occur now and short it is well he really read that brilliantly Stewart. Well, nearing full time, and here's the question are they going to come up just that little bit short? Stewart, your thoughts? Well, it's been a fairly even match, but at key moments, they've just been second best. They could have defended better for the goals, and they've missed opportunities at the other end. It'll be a disappointing result if it stays this way. Five minutes to go. Opportunity it is. A oh, terrific piece of goalkeeping. If they can score again from this corner, it probably would be the end of the story. Well, they fancy a short one. Moy. 
Oh, a fine save at this point in the game. Well, he's just about kept them in it, but time's against them here. It's a short one. Oh, a smart stop. Well, smuggled behind for another corner. They take it short. Moy. Quite possibly a yellow card as the flow was stopped. Well deemed to have been a cautionable offence. Well, no question about it. He deserved his booking there. the final whistle and I'll tell you what you really can't fault them on their travels three more points for them what did you make of it all well I'm not surprised they've won today they really do play some good football away from home and they have the ability to vary their tactics it's a great win for them